Hello, my name is Konstantin and I'm here to remind you that I'm still in Russia. Hello, my name Hello, my name is Konstantin and I'm programmer and I'm from Russia. Oh sound depressing. Okay. So what I want to talk to you about is a new TV show as call it Horace and Pete. It's a TV show by Louis C.K. and it also starts Steve Buscemi as his Pete or Horace. I cannot really remember one one of them Pete, one of them Horace. It's fully Louis C.K. production. It's, as I think, something new for him. It's uh, not comedy show, it's series. And I can truly say it's spectacular. It's something new in um, TV shows. It's theatrical. It's dynamic. For example, third series is about 40 minutes of talking to be, talking between um, Horace, no, Louis C.K. Sorry, Louis C.K. and the mother of Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang, Big Bang Theory. I cannot remember actress name, or I just don't know this. Him, her, her, her name. So. It's pretty interesting and this uh, so 30 40 minutes of uh, just conversation between these two people and you feel emotions you you feel that this is real you feel something you don't just I don't know run through it it's real conversation, it's real people, you believe them, you understand them and you feel like this is your this is real people that you can meet on the streets or in bars and doesn't matter. Um, also in the series stars Hawkeye from MASH. I Alan Alda. Yes, I remember Alan Alda. It's great actor. It's I think Mesh has killed his career because he's a Hawkeye. That's all. He's just a Hawkeye. He's nobody else. It's what he is. He have other th films and I think TV shows. I don't sure about TV shows, but in films I see him quite. Not much, but about 10 movies, I think. This is... Uh, he still got it, yes, he still got it. I like him very much. It's... So, Horace and Pete, and Pete is something new. It's like what we do in Shadows, but serious. What we do in Shadows is an um, interesting combination between theater and movies. And, I don't know. It's interesting combination between something archaic like theaters. Um, what's the word? Theaters. Between, it's interesting combination between theater methods and uh, movie methods and it's it produces 
something new, something serious, something that you need to leave this, you need to respect it. Um, so Horace and Pete do the same thing, it's uh, theatrical, they don't really spend a lot of time on post-production, as I can see, they, sometimes actors just bang their microphone and this is still on recording, and this is fine, you, you do, it doesn't matter, because they play so well, so great, you just so in, in there, you just in there, so... you just there it doesn't matter it can be they can do i don't know they can just sitting and eating and having conversations or in like in third series they can just talk to each other in about 40 minutes and it's only two actors and uh, oh sorry three actors it's it's also alda um at like five seconds and this is great I didn't watch it to the end, I I prolong it, I won't do this as last much longer as it's possible and I don't think I can watch it twice in one day, but I probably will watch it many many times in repeat over the years, because it's really great television and it's it's not like, I don't know, Mad Men. Mad Men is a product. It's something that we made this technology and something that we made for advertisers. Because they always smoke there, I think it's something to work around the law about unnecessary cigarettes on TV. So, what else? I lost train of thought. Hmm. That's all.